Um, the one I found hilarious because he had no idea what he was talking about was Kingdom Hearts. He's like, again, I feel like that's already been talked about enough. Yep. So I didn't care about watching that video. His joke was, I don't understand the titles. I mean, that's fair. No one does. They just make titles. Ah, that's right. That's so it they actually do make sense in the context of the game and when it is in the timeline, except for like Dream Drop Distance and Coded and Chain of Memories. Those ones aren't numbered. What about 365 over two days? That takes place 300... Uh, yeah, that takes place before two. What does the mean? That's the how many days it is before two starts. Oh. I think... Remember this part? With the colors? Yeah. I, I didn't understand it as a kid, and as an adult, I'm like, oh, it's simple. You're just a dumbass. I am. I was a stupid kid. I was too. I'll be honest. I'm surprised I beat any game as a kid. Just a lot of bashing my head into the wall, and eventually I got through it. Yeah, that's, that's how, how I beat most games as a kid. That's how I beat uh, Jack, uh, Jack two, Jack three. Um, oh, right. That's beautiful Joe. Beautiful Joe is a great game. Alrighty, purple. Yeah, you gotta mix blue and red huh? to make purple. I think it's like, boy, the, this game really feels like Scarlet and Violet with how glitchy some of it is. Orange. Yeah, it's three five eight over two days. Three five eight over two, so not yeah. even like a full year of numbers. No, that's how many days it takes place before Kingdom Hearts two. As dumb. I don't know the quickest way to do this. I'm just going to do it in the order that it is. Ba -do -ba -do. Green. And that's a token. Not. Keep on playing. Okay. Coinage. Coinage. Don't break your space hand. Space hand. I know they give us the green laser really early in this level, but we do have to replace it later. Oh. Yeah, because the um the thing we unlock from Mr. Potato Head is a weapon. Ah. If you don't recall. I don't remember what the weapon is. Well. Is this isn't enough. Hopefully. Also Time for I'm, some platforming. I noticed that my in laws call potatoes potatoes. 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 I'm okay. Just, I'm just like, man, that's weird. But my dad also says wash. Wash you gotta wash we gotta wash this. Yeah, we gotta uh, make I sure. I mean I've heard that for sure. And potatoes that can just be like a lazy pee. Whoops. Yeah. But it's like, oh, that's interesting. Health is not full, and I didn't take damage yet, so yeah, it does not replenish in between levels. That is interesting to note. Yeah, because, like, that could fuck you over at in some points. Right. But also, like, we have plenty of lives also. Space Ranger Universe Protection Unit. Oh, okay. That worked. That's what I planned. <laughs> Just to clip straight through it. Yep. It's a speedrun strut. Alright, there's a bouncy guy in there. Shit. I'll come back for the bouncy guy that's in there. You have to go get those um not Lego Lego people. Uh what what were they called? Because they're one of those like specifically branded preschool toys, like 
the the brand preschool. Do they still exist? Oh, how about here? How about here? Or was it play school? When I inevitably fall off, I will have to. Um, there's a race down there to do. So mm. this. Thank you, game. Okay. This is one level where I can see the. This one was tough as a kid. This uh, one was tough as a kid. Oh yeah. The save states is something I could see being spammed in this one if we fuck up. But like as an adult, I don't think I'll have to like do it too crazy much. Yeah. But this is a hard level, and you can get kind of fucked over by random things. Um, namely, the little um, ingots that fly around in certain areas mm. can just kind of come out of nowhere because they bounce very high, so it can be easy to lose track of them as they're like that. If you look down for a split second, and one bounced a foot behind me. Jesus. Yeah, there's one. Like Ooh. that. Oh, oh. Like that. <laughs> yes, rewind. <laughs> oh, no. We went back a little too far. Oh, no. Yes, I did. No. No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. You can tell these, um, these parts that are the, um, like, yellow, black. Those are, like, your... Those are important parts of the, yeah, of the platform. Like it's supposed to signify, hey, go here, to um, get on this correctly. Where am I going up? There? I think I'm going up that way. I don't remember exactly how far up that way. Like what my goal is right now. Oh, that's what it is. It's this one. You had to wait for them to get sick. I think they were in sync. I just didn't like see that that was where mm. I had to go. So when I noticed it was, I would have been far too late. I would very dangerous. Ah. No time to lose, standing around. Um, um, sometimes you gotta wait. There we go. But, like, it's just interesting, like, with Kingdom Hearts. It's like, yeah, the names are a little confusing. If you don't, like, know anything about it, it is overwhelming. I know you just have to nort people. Yes, like, that's the you plot. have to nortable. The guy gets norted. Yep. Uh, Brian David all Gilbert right. is correct when he says all you have to do is nort a boy. Because, like, that is Xehanort's plan to be immortal by moving his body by through hoarding. 13 different people. There we go. And then you have, like, an X. Yeah, it adds an X in their name and rearranges the letters. Like, Roxas is Sora with an X in his name. Yeah, actually, no, there's a few, who, or, like, there's two who don't. I forget which ones those are. But, like, yeah, Axel Ow. Lee. Lee. Yeah. Leaks. Kingdom Hearts 3, he becomes a real boy. Oh, there's Pinachuchumba. Pinachuchu. Uh, oh, speaking of Pinocchio, the Tom Hanks one's bad. <laughs> I heard the Pinocchio um, by someone else was pretty good. Uh, Del Toro? Yeah, Del Toro. That one's great. I've heard it was actually really good. Like when... um. Oh, what's his name? Why am I blanking on his name? Awful person, real life. No, there's a lot. But it's up there. I'm blanking on his name right now. But yeah, he just like orders someone to shoot Pinocchio in the face. Oh. Oh, that's Mussolini. Oh yeah, Mussolini. Yeah, Mussolini shoots Pinocchio. Yeah. I told you, awful person. I thought you were like talking about like Hollywood awful. Oh no, that'd be Tom Hanks. <laughs> Wee. I'm coming back up. Oh, there's one up. I can't beat that boss yet, which is why I came down. Ah. Oh, yeah, you need the item. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, Disney's, Pinoc Disney's Pinocchio live action thing is, like, soulless and... I just watched the, um, the Aladdin live action. <clears throat> Oh, it's so bad. Oh, like I tried. It's so. It is bad. so weird seeing like these uh, Disney like live action reboots, and then you see who is attached to it, and you're like, why is this bad? Because really? like um, Guy Ritchie directed the Aladdin, and it's like, why is this directed like shit? Steven Spielberg, I think, was on Pinocchio. Or no. I. I I don't remember. I'm going to look it up because, like, 
the casting was kind of weak for Aladdin. Like, the guy who was Jafar, he just didn't have any, like, power in his voice yeah, or in his acting. He was he was just extremely soft anytime he was doing anything. But you're the fucking villain. Yeah, you have to have a presence. Like, he's supposed to be, like, the villain that people don't really, like, really believe is a bad guy. So, like, a live action would be, like, incredibly charismatic. Whereas the um, one that I remember just wasn't. He was just there and stiff. He was. Yeah, it's um, he was he did not do a great job of it. I did not care for it. Um, I didn't mind Jasmine being like slightly more autonomous. That was fine. Um, but a lot of it was very just like anti, anti penis. If you know what I mean. <laughs> anti penis. Right. Like, like Jasmine was like no. Oh, Robert Zemeckis dudes. directed Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Well, Pinocchio is what uh, they call him in the Disney one. Because his head's no. made of pine. So they make sure to tell you, Pinocchio. The render distance on this is atrocious. I mean, yeah, it's a PS1 game. You have, like... Yeah, but the, again, the N64 did actually run better. <laughs> no, well, the N64 had more, like, uh, video RAM than the PlayStation did. Right, it just didn't have any of the pre-rendered videos. Yeah, it didn't have the Which ability to do video. Um, Like... I hate when people talk about like Resident Evil 2 being an N64 yeah. technical marvel because they got the entire That's not game. Marvel. What? It's not marvel. No, it's not. <laughs> They're like this game is uh te- like it's Ooh. one of the best games Ooh. designed for the N64 by technical standards. I'm like no. Um the only they're like they fill uh fit two um discs worth of content into one cartridge. <sighs> Yeah, um, but like, if you know anything about like the I'm development behind Resident Evil Two, the only reason it was two discs is because they um, didn't want to compress the music anymore. That's really good it, for the N sixty four to be able to handle that in one cartridge. Well, they, um, it's not that they didn't want to; it's just they couldn't compress the music enough by the release date. Now we're full health. We're going to go grab some more ammunitions, and then we're on to the boss. The boss is not fucking hard. Like, um... Okay, not here. They were like, if we compressed... If we took the time and compressed the music even more, we would be able to fit it all on one disc, which is like 750 megabytes. And then, um, what happened was, they are like, no, we need to meet the release date. So they didn't. This guy always reminded me of French fries. Like Frylock. Yeah. I like Aqua Teen. <laughs> oh, shit. Ow. Oh. He's okay. jacking. Just gonna get a little bit of a lead. I don't know. N64 games are weird. Oh, you can... They're homing. You know what homing is? Yeah. I'm not six anymore. You still love when I bring that up, though. <laughs> Alright. We are nearly done with this level. I have to grab this and then fall. <laughs> and fall to your death. <clears throat> yep. Keep on playing. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Oops. Pinocchio. Oops. Oops. Um, like, Robert Zemeckis and directed one of my favorite movies. I do. And that's Forrest Gump. And like Polar Express. Remember when um Back to the Future. Things started to come up about Tom Hanks. Not Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks uh, being related to like Epstein. Epstein and then he like fled to like Greece. Poland. Or Poland? Was it yeah, Poland? He changed his national uh, nationality. Yeah. Pretty weird how that how that happened there. Yeah. yeah. Like he uh, changed his net or uh, became a citizen of a country that does not extradite for those crimes. Strange. Yeah. Where's the... There it is. And then he was able to do more films. Yep. No talks about that. Everyone's like, oh, it's Tom Hanks. Everyone loves him. Yeah. Mm, well, that doesn't mean he's... Perfect, except the way we're done. Yay. Easy level. Three down. And now another level I cannot finish. Just because you need one piece from another one. What's next? Al's Toy Barn? Nope. No? Uh, Alleys and Gullies. 
Allies and Gullies, and then Toy Barn? Allies and Gullies, um, Boss, Toy Barn, the other store, and then... Huh. Uh, the, 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 the UFO robot thing fight. Elevators. Um, and then his... Penthouse. Apartment? Was it, was it an apartment? I thought it was a penthouse. No, it's an apartment. An apartment? There's a slight The apartment. Difference. Zerg. Um, airport, airport. Ah, final boss. All right. 